Hello and welcome to this MAMP Pro 5 screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about installing Drupal. Okay, so that's really easy to do. All you have to do is add a host here on the, through the hosts table. I'll just call it uh, host Drupal and uh, add a document root for my host. Um, just call that a host Drupal as well. And once I do that, I can uh, create the host. I don't need to automatically, I don't need to create a database that's automatically going to be done when I install Drupal in a second. And I, I could make this HTTPS, but I'm not going to do that for this screencast. If you wished you just check that checkbox. So just create the host, save your changes and restart your servers. Once the servers have restarted, you can go down here to the extras tab. There's a choice of um, uh, several content management systems. I am going to choose Drupal. Okay, so uh, just fill out a, a user, or sorry, an e email address for your admin username. I'll call this your uh, user at bc.de. Uh, down here, you can uh, add or change the table prefix for your database. I'm not going to do that. Uh, here you can uh, choose the uh, database name that will be installed. Uh, if, if you wish to, you can leave this uh, as the default or you can change that as well. Um, down here is the username to log into the admin section of your Drupal website when it's installed. It's defaulted to admin and you can't change that. Password is also defaulted to admin as well. Um, you should change this once you uh, log into your admin section of Drupal once it's installed. So I'm just gonna install there and that should take a few seconds and then Drupal will be installed. Okay, so Drupal has been installed now. Um, I can access my uh, a newly installed website by clicking on this arrow button or this arrow button down here. So I'll just click this one down here. And here is my default Drupal site. I click into the admin section of the website by clicking on that the little gear, and I could log in to my uh, admin section of the website as well. Um, one thing to point out is, uh, or uh, the database, sorry, is um, if I go to my MySQL tab, uh, click on PHP my admin. I can see that my database here, Drupal database, uh, was installed here, Drupal and Drupal 1. Uh, I had previously installed the Drupal website, so um, that was from the previous one, Drupal, but Drupal 1 is the one that uh, was just installed. Okay, so um, one, a few other things to note. Uh, this The extra takes uh, care of everything for you. But uh, in case you want to know, in terms of uh, setting up the website, uh, if you go to your editor here, the configuration, or most of the configuration um, data can be found here in, uh, when using Drupal under Sites. In the document room, go to Sites, go to, and then go to Settings.php. Um, and you will see under settings, you can see somewhere down here, there is uh, the settings that we filled in, uh, that were filled in by the extra feature in MAMP Pro. So we have down here the database is Drupal underscore one, username root, password root, uh, 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 database prefix dp underscore, host is localhost, and the port MySQL database uh, port is 8889. So just keep that in mind if you decide to say in the interface, uh, uh, change something to, uh, we'll just call this hello as the password. If I decide to change that here um, and I go back to my um, Drupal site, uh, I won't be able to access it anymore because it won't be able to uh, find or log into the database. So I'd have to go down to here if I, uh, I guess I'm doing this backwards. Most of the, the time you would 
change your password and then later not be able to figure out why your website was not working. But here I'm going to change my password to hello. And once I do that, um, servers are going to restart and that will be in line with um, what I set in the Drupal settings. And has my, oh, has my SQL started or started and I should be able to log in and now it works again. Okay, so uh, that's gonna do it for this Mant Pro 5 screencast on installing Drupal.